hi there, how are you doing? Um, I'm not very well prepared. <laughs> What's new? And uh, thank you so much, Expert Links. Before we begin, uh, you might be able to see down there in the chat, before we had even begun, Expert Links has cheered 30 bits. And they've said, I'm at work. I'm gutted. I will, sorry, I'm gutted. I'll not be able to catch the stream. I hope that you are well and have a good stream. Thank you so much, Expert Links. I really do appreciate that. It was a surprise. It was definitely a surprise. I didn't expect that, especially like while the stream was just getting going. Uh, if you're watching later on YouTube, we stream this on twitch.tv slash Anthony Kelly Yip. And uh, yeah, we normally play some music before the stream gets going. I will sometimes be down there in the chat before we begin. And um, yeah, Expert Links was there spreading some love before we even begin today. Hi, if this is your first time watching, we're about to stream some Duolingo. We are trying to learn Japanese. I'm a beginner. I'm not very good at Japanese. But if you would like to learn with me, then uh, stick with us for a little while. We will be stream streaming Duolingo today. Uh, we'll be learning with another app called Drops. And I will be trying to read the news in Japanese. But first, welcome to my language learning live stream where I'm trying to figure out if I can get good at Japanese just using apps and with help some friendly friends down in the comments. Friends like Expert Links, who is at work now and is no longer with us. Um, and anybody else who drops by in the next few minutes, hour, hour and a half. As always, we are being recorded live on twitch.tv slash Anthony Kelly. But if you can't watch live, that's totally fine because I will be uploading this later to youtube.com slash Anthony Kelly. Yep, as well. We've got quite a few people who watch over on YouTube. Look over here. Oh my goodness. We have got 199 followers on Twitch. Do you think we're going to break 100 today? Now, remember my goal, my goal for this is not to like increase the number of people watching forever. No, 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 no. My goal is to have exactly the same number of followers and subscribers on YouTube and on Twitch. That's the plan. It needs to be at the same level. So what I need to uh, reach that goal is to get a few more subscribers on Twitch or a few less, sorry, a few more followers on Twitch. Subscribers would be great, but a few more followers on Twitch and a few less subscribers over on YouTube. And we can even it out. Right now, YouTube has got 276 subscriptions, followed closely by Instagram. Twitch is the low, sorry, Twitter. Twitter is the lowest right now. So if you are not following me over on Twitter, head on over to twitter.com slash Anthony Kelly as well. I'm Anthony Kelly on all the things. Um, I'm Anthony Kelly on Duolingo as well. If you've watched any of the old Duolingo streams, it says add Anthony Kel, just K-E-L. Um, I've changed that to Anthony Kelly Yip on Duolingo as well. So if there's anybody watching on the old videos on um uh, on YouTube, they might be unable to add me now. Have I just cut them off? Sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. Okay, now before we begin, I'm just going to very quickly check Twitch because I was streaming Fortnite the other day and Twitch said that I was streaming uh, Pokemon Go. So let's just double check that Twitch says that I'm streaming what I'm supposed to be streaming. Anthony Kelly, I'm streaming Duolingo. We are good. We're good. How are you doing anyway? It's good to see you today. Shall we begin? Shall we? Shall we? I'm, I'm not prepared at all today. Um, normally, by the way, I was going to drink some of this very cute looking. Uh, let's see if I can get this here. Rira Kuma. Uh, Rira Kuma uh, tea. This is a Rira, Rira Kuma tea. I got it just because the bottle's nice. But um, I am also taking allergy medicine today. Uh, if you were watching last week, you could see that I had itchy nose. I was feeling unwell. I've taken some allergy tablets today, and they are drowsy. So I'm wondering, should I be on the tea? Or should I be on just good old-fashioned sugary Coca-Cola? Um, I don't know. Which one has the higher caffeine content? Do they even state the caffeine content of these things? Huh. Like, I'm looking at the this barley tea. Tea is not an ingredient of this. Water, barley, seawater. Seawater? Magnesium oxide. Yeah, we got that. Um, vitamins, I, I don't think this has caffeine in it, which means that I think that I'm going to have to uh, try some. Let's get some Coca-Cola in me to uh, 
basically to cover the drowsiness. If I finish this one, I might get on to the Rurukuma tea later on. Let's get some caffeine in us. And I'm just going to very quickly do a shout out to Expert Links, even though they are not in the chat anymore. Um, if you follow my Pokemon Go live streams, go follow Expert Links as well. Um, he is in New Zealand and he streams Pokemon Go IRL. So if you're looking to get some raids from New Zealand or if you're looking to, I don't know, uh, watch him as he shiny hunts traveling around New Zealand, head over to twitch.tv slash expert underscore links. Okay, are you ready to begin? I am. Uh, I am very, very shortly about to try to read the news with NHK News Web Easy. I've been doing this for weeks. I'm still not sure exactly what order those words should go. Um, and what I normally do, th that whole section of the stream is based on like 1970, 1970s style NHK news videos. Um, like the, the, the news broadcasts that they used to do. And there is a, there is a, a show... A uh, show is that the right word? There, there was a uh, news show. My goodness, my English brain isn't working today. News report? No. The news on NHK. Uh, there, there was uh, one called uh, Kyo no News, which is like today's news. Today's news. And I was looking for something to introduce my NHK news segment. And I found all of these old videos of like 1980s NHK news reports and 1970s news reports. And when I was looking at the 1970s news report, this is old news reader doing it. And they do this really old fashioned kind of like 1970s news introduction. And then it's the introduction that I use every week. And then after that, the newsreader bows to the camera and says, Konnichiwa. I guess it's in the afternoon. And then they say, Kyo no news desu. And I was like, I can do that. I can do a 1970s uh, NHK style news report. Last week, I had a look at the video that I uploaded to YouTube um, doing the news report. And there's Anthony doing the bow and doing the Kyono News Desk. And I felt a little bit awkward about it. Um, and I, I, I'm not sure whether I'm right to feel awkward about this. Um, nobody has commented on it. Not that many people are watching TBH. Um, but I looked at it and I saw Anthony bowing to the screen. And I think that maybe what triggered it was watching the Olympic Games as well. Um, like being broadcast from Japan. And I very much don't want it to look like I am taking the Mickey. I was going to say another word then instead of the Mickey. I, I don't want it to look like I am like laughing at the, uh, the body language and about the way that this is presented. Um, because bowing like that at the beginning of a news report is a very Japanese thing. This is not something that you see in other places. I live in Hong Kong. They do not bow at the beginning of news reports here. Um, and I am I was just watching it and I was thinking, does it look like I am trying to do an NHK style news report? Or does it look like I am making fun of kind of like uh, Japanese gestures and body language? I'm not. I'm not trying to make fun. That w that wasn't in my mind. Even when I did it, it wasn't in my mind. But then I was like looking back at the video and I was like, I don't know how that looks and how that could come across. I'm thinking like 20 years from now, right? Let's say the let's say that the apocalypse that we're living through right now extends for the next 20 years. And you look back at that and like, I don't even know if they bow at the beginning of Japanese news reports now. They might not. We have NHK World here. We don't have like the normal NHK news. So yeah, I was looking at it and I was like, yeah, I'm not sure I want to do the bow. Now, if I get some Japanese viewers being like, why aren't you bowing at the beginning of the news reports anymore? I don't know. I don't know. I just looked at it and I was like, hmm. I'm not sure that me, white-faced person, looks good 
doing that at the beginning of what is essentially kind of like making fun of myself, being able to be unable to read the news. Like all the making fun of should be making fun of me. Right? It shouldn't be making fun of other people. It certainly shouldn't be making fun of groups of people. So yeah. I decided, and I'm not sure whether I explained that very well. Basically, I just looked at myself. It looked a tiny bit cringe. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to change that. So we are going to jump into the NHK news in a second. Let me just load it up first. Um, but there won't be a bow. There won't be a bow at the beginning of this one. And uh, let's see what's going on in the news, shall we? Where's the button? Where's the button? I'll tell you one thing that will never change, me not knowing what buttons to press. Konnichiwa. Kyo no news desu. Oh, what's this? It's, this, is, this is a typhoon uh, uh, graph. We get the same kind of like images, typhoon maps here in Hong Kong. Oh, I'm supposed to be reading. <clears throat> typhoon. Wait, we've got hoodigana. Turn off the hoodigana. Okay, now, tai, Taiwan no Tai. Uh, this is kaze. If, if we, we've learned this word kaze to mean wind. Now, I'm looking at that and I'm seeing typhoon um, because it's the same word in Hong Kong. We use the same word. It's written slightly differently sometimes in Hong Kong. Um, but how do we pronounce that? I think it said Taifu. Maybe. Ju uh, ho. How do you say ho? How do you say number? Um, this is a word that we use in Hong Kong as well to mean the number of something. Maru? Uh, maru? The reason I'm thinking uh, maru, sorry. The reason that I'm thinking maru is that word is because. Okay, let me just tell you how my brain is working here. Um, in Hong Kong, where I live, the names of boats often have ho at the end of it. Okay? Ho. Uh, so, like, when you see, like, fishing vessels and things nearby, they often have this word ho at the end. And it means, like, number, but it's also used for the names of ships. Um, and the reason that I remember this, thinking of it being, like, maru, is because I watch Star Trek. And there is a ship called the Kobayashi Maru in Star Trek. And I was like, does that mean Maru? I don't know. We'll check the Hurigana in a second. Typhoon number 10, maybe. Nananichi. Tara. Hachinichi. Ni. Okay, is that the seventh or the eighth day of the month? Or is that seven to eight days? Ni. Uh, to Nihon. To Nihon, Tokyo no To, To Nihon maybe, or I've got it in my mind that the word East is pronounced differently sometimes because I was having a look ahead in Duolingo and they have like North, South, East, and West, and then they were saying that like Northeast, Southwest carries a different pronunciation from just North, South, East, and West. Nihon no eh, Chikaku. I got so much wrong. Let's turn on the hurigana. Okay. Taifu 10 is not maru. <laughs> go. Oh, go is the like the Chinese ho. Ho. Nanoka. Eh? Nanoka. Seven days, maybe? Nanoka kara. Yo ka ni. Oh. Hikashi nihon. Hikashi. Hikashi must be east. Hikashi nihon no. Chika. Chikaku. 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 Ni. Kuru ka mo shire nai. Okay. I'm not sure whether that means. Uh, seven to eight days from now, or on the 7th or the 8th. But this article was published on the 6th of August. So maybe this is saying that on the 7th and the 8th of August, 
you know, presuming uh, that the typhoon is going to be near to uh, the east coast of Japan. That's what I think this says. Shall we try it? Shall we check it? Google Translate. Typhoon number 10 may come near eastern Japan. May come. I don't know where may is in here. Near eastern Japan from the 7th to the 8th. Okay, when it says typhoon number 10, I wonder if that is the typhoon kind of like level system. We have a system in Hong Kong where you could get like a level 3 or a level 8 or a 9 or a 10. Uh, 10 being the worst. Okay, now remember, this is kind of color-coded. And this is a long... How did I get here? That was a long paragraph that you just saw there. Um, we won't read the whole paragraph, but let's look at the colors here. If a word is in green, it is a person, hito, or a name, namaya. If a word is in yellow, it is a country, kuni, kuniyaken, or a town, or a place, or something, no namaya. If a word is in blue, it's a company, or it's an organization. So if we have a look here, we have a blue company, and we have some orange names of places. And no names of people. No names of people. Pink Ranger. Thank you so much. How are you doing, Pink? It's good to see you. Thank you for redeeming relaxing wee music there. Oh, it's good to see you, Pink. Um, how are you doing these days? How are you doing? Are you taking care of yourself? I'm trying to read the news in Japanese. It's ridiculous. Like, I'm looking at this paragraph, and... It's a long one. I'm not going to read it aloud, but let's have a look here. So we've got Kisho. Cho? You can't stay long. It's 2 a.m. This is why nobody watches the Japanese language learning live streams. Not because it's boring. Not because nobody cares. Because it's late. That's why. Oh, no, you've got to be up at 7.30. Thank you for stopping by, though, Pink. Um, yeah, I'm just having a look at this. In a second, I'll be checking whether Buddha Burner has been up to date with his Duolingoing. We will see. He still has a few minutes to get in one lesson before, uh, before we go. Okay. From the kanji words, which are the words which are like based on Chinese. Uh, hold on a second. Uh, I'm doing good. Um, I'm doing good. Mrs. Anthony is doing good. She's busy tidying up right now. Well, I'm just sitting here playing Duolingo. Um, little Anthony has gone out today, but yeah, we're all doing good. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much. Um, okay. This is the name of a group. What is it? Is this like the weather group of people? Translate. Who are you? The Japan Meteorological Agency. That was an awfully specific translation. No, 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 it's fine, uh, Pink. So sorry, uh, I'm just interrupting the news here just to mention. Uh, so Pink Range says, I hate missing your streams because I feel bad. I really hate the time differences. I know, I know. It is um, like I stream at this time on Mondays because it is uh, basically this time kind of like just fits into my schedule that I'm not that busy at this time. Um, but yeah, like, in the UK, um, everybody's asleep right now. Uh, I don't think my father has ever joined one of my Japanese language learning live streams. And yeah, in the US, it is really late as well. And here in Hong Kong or in Japan or in Australia, it's the middle of a work day right now. So basically, this is the absolute worst time to stream. That said, I've been doing my Japanese language learning live streams at this time every week since late last year. Um, so this time is kind of fixed, I guess. Um, if my schedule changes, I might move this time around a little bit. I would like to try and do it either earlier or later. But for now, what I'm doing is like, if I, for whatever reason, I suddenly have more free time later during the week, I'll try to do a stream at a different time as well. Um, just so that we can get people like you in. Otherwise, uh, People have to stay up late for me, and that's that's not nice. Okay, then the Japanese Meteorological Agency. This is too difficult, guys. I'm just looking at this. Um, but let's just jump down here. Six days. Uh, that means the sixth day of the month. 
afternoon, three o'clock. These are all words that we've learned in Duolingo, right? We know how to how to write the word day. We know afternoon. Uh, we also know three o'clock. What we haven't learned in Duolingo yet is how to say the sixth of the month. So here it says, muika. Uh, That's what it says in the Hurikana, muika. We haven't learned that in Duolingo yet. There's a typhoon again. Uh, these two characters are Okinawa. I recognize those. In Cantonese, they call it uh, Chongseng, Okinawa. Um, and then the South Big East Island. Huh. Minami. Uh, Daido Shima. Jima. Daido Jima. Okay. Uh, so that basically, there's a lot of geography here, like that the typhoon was near Okinawa and the Big South Island. At one o'clock, it was 25 kilometers. No, oh, Haya, Hayasa, Hayasa. It's the speed, I think. The 25 kilometer speed going east. Okay, like just from looking at the kanji, I can get some like, meaning from this but this is all talking about like the direction of the typhoon and things like that it's long it is outside of my my level of comfort right now according to the japanese meteorological agency typhoon number 10 is moving eastward at a speed of 25 kilometers per hour over the sea on minami daito island in okinawa prefecture oh there's a prefecture word there at 3 p.m on the 6th See, we got it right. Like, even though it was difficult, we got it. Now, this is a new word for me, though. Prefecture. I haven't seen that one before. So, like, Japan is divided into prefectures. According to this, it is pronounced... Ken. Ken. Okay. So, Okinawa Prefecture. Would that be Okinawa Ken? Okinawa Ken. Okinawa Ken, Okinawa Prefecture. Okay, we're not going to read this whole thing, um, but right now it is the 9th of August. So looking at this map, like the typhoon should have reached like over there by now. It should now be leaving Japan, but I hope everybody's okay. I hadn't seen much from the typhoon from like the Olympic coverage or anything, but um, if you are being affected by a typhoon, take care. Stay indoors, stay safe. And uh, in Hong Kong, a typhoon is a good excuse to stay at home and to play mahjong with friends and family. I don't like mahjong. Okay, then. Shall we do some Duolingo, guys? Let us jump in to... Duolingo. Hi, welcome to my Duolingo live stream. That's what we're going to be doing in just a second. I'm not sure if Pink's still here. It's very late for her. It's very late. The... Uh, Wait, where is all of my my statistics? What? Where are my statistics? This is why you check things before the live stream begins, right? I'm supposed to have stuff here, guys. I'm supposed to have things here. Where are they? Um, 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 interact. Has something happened? Has something gone terribly wrong? Now, give me just a second while I grab this. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to paste it. I'm going to make it smaller, maybe. Okay. We're going to find out what's going on here. We're going to find out what is wrong with my statistics. Oh, no. What have I done wrong? Make sure that you have Make My Profile Public enabled in your privacy settings to allow Duomi progress tracking. Don't I have that? This is why we watch these things live. Okay. Give me just a second to go into duolingo.com to make my profile public because that's what I what it seems. Oh. I've changed everything. I changed my name in Duolingo. I've got to update this. Oh dear. Okay, how do I do this? How do I do this? How do I do this? Let's see if we can fix this on the fly, guys. Okay, then. Duo stats, properties. 
Boom. Come back. You can do this. You can do this. Come back. Reload. <laughs> I will fix this off stream at some point. I will fix this off stream. Uh, let's just jump straight into Duolingo because obviously this isn't working very well. Ordinarily, I would show you my progress over the previous week. There is nothing to show here. So let's have a look here. Maikofu has unlocked checkpoint eight on the Spanish course. What? Let's give him a high five. Um, who's been doing what over the last week? Um, yes, you will notice that my name on Duolingo is now Anthony Kelly Yip, and that has broken everything. Everything. Friend updates. How's everybody doing? Benjamin AHR has completed a seven-day streak on Duolingo. I take credit for that. Keep going, Ben. Uh, we do not know how Adam is... Oh, wow. Send congrats button is um, not working. So I will send them this way. Oh, congrats sent. Okay, we're doing good. We're doing good. Anybody else? Where's Buddha Burner? Buddha Burner promised me that he was going to study hard. Let's just scroll down here. <laughs> Where are you, Buddha? Where are you, Buddha? No, that can't be you all down here with 93 XP. No. Buddha Burner was working hard until Tuesday in Duolingo. Buddha Burner is working hard in real life. I know that for sure. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have to prod him and make sure that he is still studying. We're still studying, though. Have a look at this. Hold on. See, I don't have graphs or anything now. Where, where's my graph? I will, I will compare myself to other people. Give me a second. I will compare myself to Tanenobu-san. Wow, Tanenobu. Obviously unhappy that I had been beating him in XP. Uh, for the better half of a week, has shot up doing a crazy amount of work. And today, wow, he's got over 200 XP in one day. Huh. You can see here that my amount of work has dropped down over the weekend. I did have a little bit of a busy weekend. Um, but we're going to catch up now. Shall we get into it? Let's have a look. Okay, then. We're going to work our way down from the top. Remember, we are trying to... Uh, get the highest levels at the top and to stagger it all the way down. I want to make sure that every single unit is either at its highest or at least higher than the subsequent unit. So that's going to kind of like force me to keep reviewing everything and making sure that we get everything right. Um, so we're going to start here at time and see whether we can uh, purple crown this today. Hopefully we can. Oh, I need to uh, connect the audio. Let me just pop that up for a second. Audio should come through in a minute. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, I'm gonna have to fix my Duolingo stats page. That took me forever to set up. And I changed my name and it's gone forever. So sad. Okay then, let us prove that we are legendary. Shall we get going? They still haven't taught dates, they're just teaching time, right? Okay then, we can only make, so if you want to get a purple crown, you can only make three mistakes. Select the correct character for Nana. Sana. Nana. There we go. And in case we didn't know, it tells us. Uh, we have Q. Q. We also have Hachi. Hachi. And Hun. Hun. But we are doing Nana. Nana. We got this nana, one of the words for seven. Eight o'clock, hachiji, hachi, ji. And we have to make sure that we are not writing this in Ar Arabic numbers. We have to make sure that we're writing this in kanji because Duolingo is weird. Hachiji. Nicely hachiji done. Hachiji desu. It's eight o'clock. So a little bit different from what we just did before. The first one was just hachiji, which was eight o'clock. This one is hachiji des. It's eight o'clock. It's nine o'clock. So we have it's eight o'clock is hachiji des. It's nine o'clock would be kuchi des. 
チです。くちです。くちです。It's not q u e right? くちです。We're doing good! 七時七分です。七時。Ah, remember we were talking about uh, uh, nana is seven. Another word for seven is ちち。So here we have ちちち七分です。It's because of death at the end. It's 707. They didn't say AM or PM. It's 707. Shichi nana fun des. Keep it up. There are 11,573 other learners practicing Japanese with us right now. It's 8 o'clock. Hachichi des. Hachichi des. Again, we want to make sure that we write it in kanji because Duolingo doesn't always, but it does sometimes accept Arabic numbers. Imawa right now. Now, Imawa hachiji? Imawa hachiji de wa arimasen. It is not 8 o'clock now. Don't forget the now, otherwise, it won't let you have it. It's not. Eight o'clock now. Ima wa hachiji de wa arimasen. Ima wa hachiji des. Ima wa hachiji de wa arimasen. Ay, Ima wa hachiji de wa arimasen. Ima wa nichi goro ni des. Ha, Hong Kong. Ay, Ima Hong Kong wa nichi goro ni des. It's 8 08. They didn't say now. So that should be Hachichi. Hapun des. Is that right? Hachichi. Ha. Minitsu. Pun or hap. Pun. Hapun. Oh, I just wrote Hachichi, not Hachichi. Hachichi. She to die. Hachichi hap. Oh, I can't remember the pronunciation for minutes here. I'm not sure whether it is Hachichi Hachi Fundes. I've got it in my head that there's like a short version of the eight. Let's just write Hachi Fun. See if it lets us have it. And look at all of the all of these suggestions here. Arabic hours, Arabic minutes. Arabic hours, Arabic minutes. Kanji hours, Arabic minutes. The fact that it is not giving me kanji minutes suggests to me that it's not hachi, that it's really like hap or something else. But I'm just going to write hachi again. Hachichi, hachihun. This. It's wrong, isn't it? Hachiji, hachihun des. Oh, hapun. Hachifu. Oh, hapun. Hachihun. Hey, Kanin san. Hey, arigato gozaimasu. Kanin san is helping me with the pronunciation here. So it is hapun, I think. Hachihun. Every, oh, they're both fine. Thank you so much. So I can say hachichi, hachihun. Or I can say hachichi, hap. I had that in my head that it should be hapun. But when I typed it, it didn't come out for some reason. Thank you so much for your help. Hachiji. Hachiji, 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. Arigato gozaimasu. Kanin san wa nihonjin desu ka? 私はイギリス人です。今、香港に住んでいます。Okay, it is 7 o'clock.7、うん、時、not 7時、7時です。7時です。Is that right?7 時です。Okay, we're doing good. Please tell me if the sound is too loud because I'm not sure how loud it is at my end. I can just see the little yellow line bouncing across. I'm scared that the,、uh, the audio from the tablet is too noisy. 
It is not nine o'clock now. 今は九時で、九時、九時ではありません。It's not nine o'clock now. Oh, the sound is good. Okay, thank you,、uh, Kanisan. It is not nine o'clock now. It is nine o nine. Okay, so that would be Kuchi Q Fun. Yes, is that right? Kuchi Q U Q Q Q Fun. Kuchi Kuchi. Let's get that one in first. Kuchi. Kyu. Fun. Oh, what am I writing? Kuyu. Kiyu. Kyu. Fun. Okay, we got that. Kuchi. Kyu. Fun. Desu. Kuchi. Kyu. Fun. Des. Maybe right? There we go. We got this. Ohayo. Shichiji des. おはよう、七時です。七時はではありません。Uh, and this would be seven o'clock in the morning, I guess, because we're starting with おはよう。Good morning. It's seven o'clock. おはよう、七時で、七時です。七時です。おはよう、七時です。Uh, こんにちは。Uh, Nichi des. It is not nine o'clock now. Kuchi dewa arimasen. Kuchi dewa arimasen.、Mm -hmm. Where is my,、oh, this one? There we go. Kuchi dewa arimasen. Kuchi dewa arimasen. Arimasen. ありません Clock. It's seven o'clock. There's no now, right? Shichichi des. Shichichi des. It's seven o seven. Shichichi nana fun des. Right? Shichichi na na fun des. Shichichi nana fun des. No, Ima. Kuji des. Kuji des. It's nine o'clock. No, now. Kuji des. Kuji des. It's nine o'clock. It's not nine o'clock now. Ima. Ima. Kuji. There wa arimasen. Okay, easy peasy, am I right? But I want to get all of my kanji right. Where is my ima? Ima. 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 Kuji. Where is my kuji? Okay. Ima kuji de wa arimasen. It's not nine o'clock now. Legendary. Resson completo. 94%. Oh well, should they give me legendary status? Should they? My sound is very good.、Uh, do you mean the sound of the, the microphone? The sound of Duolingo? Or my pronunciation? I, I'm trying hard to get my pronunciation right. I don't think I have legendary level pronunciation yet though. But we do have another purple crown, which is great. We're doing good. No pronunciation. I mean, my pronunciation isn't good. 
Okay, now that we have Purple Crown time, I'm gonna have to level up routines, home, and intro, and I'm gonna have to heal counting. And this, thank you, thank you so much. I'm trying my best, I really am, but like, I don't think we're there yet. I am trying. Um, I am definitely going to have to fix this one, counting, because I know for a fact that I have forgotten all of this. Um, so we can work our way down back to counting, but I've definitely got to do it at some point. Definitely. Because counting in Japanese is not straightforward. Not straightforward at all. So let's try and level this one up to level three. And we will level the next one up to level two. And the next one up to level one. And then we'll do counting again. So let's keep going. Is this the right one? Okay, again, we can only make three mistakes here, otherwise, not legendary. Gozen Reiji. Gozen Reiji. Oh, I like this. Gozen Reiji. Gozen Reiji. Gozen Reiji. Uh, this is Midnight. Is that the correct pronunciation? The correct translation, though? It's like 12 a.m., right? Uh, 12 a.m. So they don't say 12 a.m., they say zero. Which, yeah, that works quite well. No, I will not get up. Oh, okay, are you going? Thank you. Let me just get this dueling going. So let me get this Google translating. My excuse is always that the writing is very small. Please come again. Please come again. Okay. I will not give up. I will not give up. Oh, I will not get up. That says I will not get up. I sh I'm saying I will not give up. Hey, <laughs> san Kanin? Is that the correct pronunciation? Kanin? Okay. Let's keep going. We've got this. We've got this. No, I will not get up. Get up. Okimas. Yep. Okimasen. Is that right? E e e. Okimasen. I think that's right. Yep. Okimasen. No, I will not get up. Anyway, Kenan-san, I think from your message that you are going. Uh, because you said mata kimas ne, huh? Come, mata ne. I hope to see you next time. Thank you so much for coming, and uh, take care as well. And if there is a typhoon in Japan, be careful, because we were reading the news earlier, and it looked like there was a typhoon. Ima wa gozen reiji desu. It's midnight now. Ima wa gozen reiji desu. It's midnight now. Uh, by the way, Kenan, uh, we do our Japanese language learning live stream every Monday at this time. Uh, I'll try and do some more like later in the week, but uh, this is the, the main time that we do this. I get up at 5 o'clock. Go, gochi? Is that right? Gochi. 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 Go. I need to have the kanji. Gochi ni? Gochi ni? Okimasu. Is that right? Yay, nicely done. Oh, for me. <laughs> what time do you get up? What time do you get up? Oh, Kyoa. Uh I get up around six o'clock. Rokuchi Koroni. Rokuchi Koroni Okimasu. And we 
you want the kanji as well because duo. Roku, Roku, Roki no kanji wa do ko desu ka? A, Roku. Ji. Roku ji koro ni. Eh, oki, oki, oki mas. Iya. Oki. Uh, oki. Koro ni. Is that the correct kanji for koro ni? Roku ji koro ni. Okay, I guess it is. Gozen shichiji ni okimasu. Gozen is morning. Shichiji okimasu. I get up at 7 a.m. I get up at 7 a.m. Is that right? Gozen shichiji ni okimasu. Yeah, I get up at 7 a.m. It is 12 a.m. right now. Ima. Gozen reji. Gozen. Rei. Ji. Desu. Ima gozen reji desu. I'm not sure about my pronunciation for that. Gozen. 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 Reji. Reji. Gozen reji. Gozen reji. Yeah, it doesn't sound right. But it's written right. Ima gozen reji desu. Iie, okimasen. Iie, okimasen. Nope. I'm not getting up. Should write nope, N O P E. I'm not getting up. I know that feeling. Nope, not getting up. Nope, not doing it. 12 a.m. Gozen reji. Gozen. Oh. Sen. Reiji. Gozen reji. We're doing good. Ten right in a row. Oh, this is the one I always get wrong. Gozen reji ni ne. Ne. It's that word ne. And it's such a short word. And it's so hard to hear. And it means to sleep, right? And like, if you speak quickly, you can hardly hear it. I go to sleep at midnight. I go to sleep at midnight. What time do you get up? Wow. Nanji ni okimasu ka? Is that right? Nanji ni okimasu ka? Nanji ni okimasu ka? How about go to sleep? So, what time do you get up? Nanji ni okimasu ka? How about nanji ni ne masu ka? Is that right? What time do you go to sleep? 6時頃に起きます。6時頃に起きます。6時頃に起きます。6 my hay fever medicine obviously isn't working because my eyes are starting to stream again. I'm not crying, guys. I'm just suffering. Okay, what was that again? 6時頃に寝ます。Now, no, notice that they did not use the kanji for koroni. 6時頃に起きます。I I get up at around 6 o'clock. Again, didn't say morning or evening. Don't assume. I get up at around 6 o'clock. Rokujikoroni. Rokujikoroni. God. Why can't I say this? Rokujikoroni okimas. Rokujikoroni okimas. Rokujikoroni okimas. Rokujikoroni okimas. Ah, 
my brain isn't working today. It's the medicine. I go to sleep at 12 a.m. Gosen rechi ni ne masu. Gosen. Gosen. Rechi. Gosen rechi ni. Oh, I was going to say okimas. Ni ne masu. Can you say Gozenreji Goro ni Is that right? I go to bed at around midnight. I don't know if that came up earlier on. Gozenreji Goro ni Nemas. Goro ni Nemasu. Keep going. Gozen Hachiji Han ni Okimas. Gozen Hachiji Han. Okay. Gozen hachiji han ni okimasu. Right? In the morning, 8.30, get up. I get up at 8.30 in the morning. That's a good time to get up. Gozen hachiji han ni I think that's right. Next, I get up at 7 a.m. Oh, a.m. There's a lot of lefts there. Is that right? We got this, guys. No mistakes. I get up at 8.30 a.m. Uh, Gozen. Why does it keep giving me the other Okimas? Okay, and the Hachi is written in Arabic. We're going to change that to Hachi. Kanji, just in case Duolingo doesn't accept it. Gozen hachi han ni okimas. I get up at 8.30 a.m. We got this? Boom. Not one wrong. We're doing good. Lesson complete. Lesson complete. We're doing okay, guys. We've got 15 gems. We're going to be catching up with... Tanenobu-san, in no time. Right? Right? Where is where's Tanenobu? <laughs> See? Look at this. If we just keep going, if we just keep going, we can embarrass him. Um, we are almost halfway there. Uh, as long as he doesn't do any more work today, we can catch up. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, but what time is it? It is... Uh, Nichihan Gorumi desu. Okay. So we've got time done. Routines, we've got three out of four there. Let's have a quick look at that tips page. They said, if you want to say what, say what time something happens, we use ni. We know that. Shichiji ni okimasu. You can put ni after locations as well. Kaisha ni ikimasen. I will not go to work. Hachiji ni kakou ikimasu. This word e focuses on the process of going, they say. But in general, e and ni kind of interchangeable. Some kanji, kakse, kakko. Okay. Gozen, kogo. Gozen reji, kogo. Okay, we've got this, including goroni. We know what we're doing, but we're not going to do routines today because we've got to do a little bit better on home. By the way, I think I've forgotten the home vocabulary too. I remember that there was an ie somewhere, and there's a dai dokoro, maybe. 
uh, something sat, sat, I don't remember. I don't remember the home stuff. So let's keep going. <laughs> you can only make three mistakes. Heya wa doko desu ka? Heya, home. Heya wa doko desu ka? Where is the house? Where is the house? Heya wa doko desu ka? Room! Here yeah, is home. Heya is room. We've got our first one wrong already. <laughs> room. Where is the room? What is? It's a room. Heya des. Heya des. The reason that I keep forgetting that Heya is room um, is the kanji. The kanji. Uh, th those two words in kanji. The second word looks like house uh, in Cantonese. So I see that, and without thinking about the thir the first word, I see it and it registers as house in my head. Heya is room. And I'd learned this before. Heya des. Where's the bathtub? Where is the bathtub? And I'm interested to know why it has to be ohuro. There's some words like ocha, ocha, ohuro, that I wonder, like, why o is the thing that it is? But yeah, ohuro wa doko desu ka? Ohuro wa doko desu ka? Ohuro wa doko desu ka? Where's the bathtub? Uh, ohura, ohura. Dewa arimasen? No, that's it's not. Oh, I can't remember how to say there is no bathtub. Ohura wa arimas. Ohura wa arimasen? Maybe? It's a bathtub. Ohura des. Ohura. Yes, it's a bathtub. We don't have a bathtub. It's a room. I'm so happy that I'm revising all of these. Where is the room? They know that I don't know this word. Heya wa doko desu ka? Heya wa doko desu ka? Where is the room? I don't know. Ohuro desu. It's a bathtub. Is this whole unit just bathtubs and rooms? Ohuro desu. Where is the bathtub? Ohuro. Oop. Ohuro. Wa doko desu ka? Oop, deka. Ohuro wa doko desu ka? Where is the bathtub? Heya ga arimasu. We're getting on to there is a thing. Okay, there's a room. That's a room. There's a room. A room. Heya ga arimasu. Heya wa arimasen. Is that right? There is no bathtub. This is what I was asking. So I'm guessing. I'm guessing that this should be all. Uro wa arimasen. That's what I think it should be. Ohuro wa arimasen. And we're right. Okay. Okay. We're guessing our way through this. Ohuro wa arimasen. Ohuro wa arimasen. The school is in Japan. Is that right? The school is in Japan. 
校は日本にあります。私の学校はイギリスにあります。Oh, but I am not in イギリス。I am in Hong Kong. Ten in a row. Yeah, okay. Really? Did I get ten in a row? I thought I got one wrong. Yeah, I've lost the light. There is a room. Hey, up. Hey, up. Ga. Arimasu. Ya, ga arimas. We're doing okay, guys. We're doing okay. Hey, ya, ga arimas. I'm going to save this one for next week because I haven't opened it yet. And it's already Nichi Handas. So, and I've still got some Coke left. So, next week, I'll still be drinking my、uh, Rira Kuma tea. Okay. お風呂はありません。There is no bathtub. There is no bathtub. お風呂はありません。The school is in Japan. 学校は日本,日本にあります。学校学校学校は日本にあります。学校は日本にあります。Okay, we're doing good. 学校は学校は日本にあります。お風呂ではありません。There is no bathtub. There is no bathtub. Yeah. Do you know what I just got wrong? Students, do you know what I just got wrong? They did not say, お風呂はありません。They said, お風呂ではありません。Which means, it is not a bathtub. One character difference. I didn't even realize. It is simply one character difference. お風呂お風呂はありません。お,ふお風呂ではありません。It is not a bathtub and we only have one life left. Where's the camera? カメラはどこですか Our last life. カメラをカメラカメラをカメラをカメラはカメラはカレマはカ,カメラ Wow, that's hard to say. Hey, Ms. Supermas, how are you doing? I'm struggling to learn Japanese with Duolingo. It's good to see you here, though, and see your lapras down the bottom.、Um, are you doing okay? You said that you dropped by last time as well,、uh, but it's good to see you. I'm struggling my way through this. Camera wa doko desu ka? Where is the camera? It's in your phone. Everything's in your phone. The camera's in your phone. The MP3 player's in your phone. Good to see without my mask on. Yeah, we're safe here. We're safe here.、Um, but when I take my mask off, the, the viewer count drops. No, it is not a bathtub. This is one that I just got wrong. So I said, I thought that it was there is no bathtub, but it is, it is not a bathtub. One character difference. So this should be. お風呂ではありません。お風呂ではありません。It is not a bathtub. This is our last life. Are we going to get it right? We did. We did get it right.、Uh, Japanese characters are hard, Miss Supermas. Yeah, they are.、Uh, there's a few different like, character sets,、uh, alphabets, as it were.、Uh, There's two different ways of writing Japanese characters. And then they also have some、uh, characters based on Chinese mixed in as well. So, like, if people are going to learn Japanese for the first time, they have to, like, pay attention to, you know, they have to put the effort into learning the characters. It is not as difficult as you might think. So, sure, it is a little bit foreign, for want of a better word. Uh, but you can get through it. You can. 
It is doable. If a hundred million Japanese people can get through it, so can you. How many people are there in Japan? It's gotta be over a hundred million, right? Heya wa doko desu ka? Heya is the room. The word that I forgot. Where is the room? Heya wa doko desu ka? Where's the room? Ofuro dewa arimasen. Oh, you've been to Japan as well. Um, we went to Japan for the first time. Oh, goodness me. When was it now? Maybe in 2014? 2015? I think it was. It was around then.、Um, and we went to Osaka and Kyoto like, on our first trip. So we, we, we like, hung around like, the Osaka area.、Um, and I remember being there and realizing very quickly. That it would be very useful if we could actually read just a little bit. Just a little bit. So I put a little bit of effort into just learning the characters without learning like, the language,、um, but learning the characters and how to say the characters. And it helped no end. It helped so much. Like being able to travel, being able to get on the right train. Um, it's, it's important and it's useful. Oh, you only went to Tokyo. Oh, I see. So, okay, okay. So, we only went to Tokyo as there, we were only there for a short time as I was called to America for work. So, it cut the holiday short by three days for me. Remember that, Ms. Supermars? Being able to travel other places for work sounds like another world.、Um, Yeah, once the apocalypse is over, it would be nice to travel again.、Uh, Japan is definitely on the list、uh, because it's a, a really great place to visit. And if you are going to visit again, Mrs. Supermars, try to learn some of the Japanese characters. Again, it's difficult, but like, it's useful. I remember we went、uh, a few years back、uh, with my mother and, well, with, with the whole family. And my mom was looking for some crackers to buy for her friend. And she knew, like, her friend had written down the name of the,、uh, the, name of the biscuits that she wanted to buy、uh, with English characters, with English letters, but it was a Japanese word. And because I had studied Japanese characters, Even though I didn't know like, exactly what it was, I didn't know exactly what the biscuits were that she wanted to buy, I could read the word in English. And then I was just like, looking at all of the cookies, all of the biscuits in the supermarket. And I found the one where the name on the packet, written in Japanese, matched what was written in,、uh, in like, Latin characters. And we bought the right biscuits. It's empowering. Being literate empowers you when you travel to like, take a train and to buy the right biscuits and things like that. And yeah, it was,、um, it was, it was good. It was good to learn. So I'm continuing my, my studies right now.、Um, hey, Ashaz, how are you doing? Oh, have you got a new user? Are, are you my Ashaz, Ashaz?、Uh, yes, Ashaz Syed YT.、Um, Ashaz does have a YouTube channel right now.、Um, Ashaz, your YouTube channel. Is it just Ashaz Syed? Is that, is that the right name? Mrs. Superman says, being able to travel interstate seems like another world right now. You can't even travel five kilometers from home at the moment. Wow. That's,、um, that's tough. That's tough. Here in Hong Kong,、um, things are kind of okay right now. So we still need to wear masks when we're going outside.、Um, but we can go out.、Uh, we can go around. Hong Kong. We can't really easily leave Hong Kong right now.、Um, like, if you wanted to go into like, the neighboring cities and things, you would have to quarantine.、Um, but yeah, like, within Hong Kong right now, things are still okay. Which would for the time being. But it's still worrying. Like, with the Delta variant and all of that, it's,、uh, I'm worried that in the next few weeks and months, things could get bad again.、Um, But yeah, please take care. Take care of yourselves. And、um, yeah, let's finish this. Ofuro. What, what was this again? Ofuro dewa arimasen. It's not a bathtub. 
It's not a bath bathtub. Bathtub. It's not a bathtub. There we go. Resong completo. We got this. Skip it. Uh, we are not going to do that challenge because that's not what we're doing. We're trying to make sure that every unit is better than the one after it. So we finished time today. We've got three out of four for routines, two out of four for home. Um, we're going to have to do intro then because we haven't got any out of four for intro. Intro being like introductions. They really want us to know about the bathtub. I know, right? Uh, basically, that whole unit was, it is a room. It's a room. It's a bathtub. It's not a bathtub. Um, let's see how we're doing with introductions. Ashaz says hello. Hi, Ashaz. Hope you're doing good. Okay, then. What's the correct character for Sumi? 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 Oh, this one could catch us out. Like, I know that it's not this one. Hashirami. And I know that it's not this one. Omi. But there's two here, and either of those could be Sumi. I, I don't feel like I deserve this point. Like, even if I get it right, it's a coin flip more than anything. Let me have a think. Let me have a think. Let me have a think. Sumi. No. I'm going to say I'm confident. I am confident that it's this one. Omi. Damn it. <laughs> I don't deserve the point. Sumi was the bottom right one. Sumi. 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 To live somewhere. Right? Kyoto. Kyoto. We've been to Kyoto. Kyoto. Kyoto is really nice. Uh, when we went to Kyoto, we stayed in a traditional Japanese townhouse. And those are like those old, like, terrace buildings almost. Um, but it had like a little courtyard inside as well. And it was really nice. It had been converted into like a, uh, uh, a hotel, I guess. Like something between a hostel and a hotel. Um, but it was a really nice place to stay. Um, and uh, we took some really nice photos there as well. Kyoto. Kyoto. What's the correct character for Kyoto? We know this. Kyoto. It was a little bit small, uh, says Ms. Supermars. Um, I... Okay, so... I have um, bad knees. And I momentarily dislocated my knee and banged my head. Not in that order. I banged my head and dislocated my knee. Uh, because we were living in the roof of the townhouse. And like the, the roof sloped really low. And I banged my head and I hurt my knee all at the same time. It was like the most discomfort I had felt in the smallest period of time ever. Um, the knee popped straight back in. Uh, as someone who has bad knees, um, that was not like the worst pain that my knee had ever been in, but it was just annoying. Like imagine if I'd had to like spend my holiday in hospital getting my knee put back in. That'd be horrible. No, no, no. We, we were very lucky. But yeah, I, I hurt my knee and my head um, in Kyoto. <laughs> Let me just see if I can find the picture. Hold on a second. I'm not going to, uh, I'm pretty sure that I have a picture of myself just looking like I'm in pain. <laughs> Let me do a search in my Google Photos for Kyoto. I can't find it. But yeah, I hurt myself and I looked very uncomfortable. I'm doing a very quick scroll through my photos here. Can I find me in pain? I don't know why I'm sharing this. Hashtag oversharing. Oh my goodness, how many photos did we take in Kyoto? I've got thousands of photos here. Can I find this? Now I'm gonna have a quick look for the photo of the townhouse just so that you can see what it looked like. Because it was really pretty. Um, 
I don't necessarily need to show me banging my head on it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I found the banging of the head. Um, where's the place? Okay, give me just a second. While I pull this into Streamlabs. There we go. That's how I looked in Kyoto. <laughs> nursing my head and nursing my knee. That is exactly how I looked. Have I got the... Uh the townhouse pictures it was a lovely place it was so nice so pretty um a lot of the photos have mrs me on them let me just see if i can does every photo have mrs me on them yeah that's what pain looks like like that that picture is me feeling sorry for myself um but that is like two minutes after me grimacing like like really grimacing it, it wasn't nice at all i can't find any photos of just the place unfortunately but it was lovely it was such a nice kind of environment and the staff was super super friendly um the inside of it looked like let me just see if i can find some pics There's no nice photos. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna download some photos and I'll show you in just a second. Ah, oh, I found an, oh, it's not an Ohuro, it's something else. <laughs> okay, let me pull some of these in for you. One, two, three. Can I pull multiple photos into Streamlabs at the same time or will it throw a fit? Do you want to import multiple files? Well, yeah, okay. So this was like the inside of the place. Um, so it was old inside. There was a lot of wood inside. Um, you can see here kind of like what the buildings nearby kind of look like. The next one is not a bathtub, I don't think. <laughs> um, and there is me grimacing in pain. Are there any nice photos here? Why didn't I take nice photos? There was this lovely like parasol outside the front door of the place. Okay, here we go. Let's see if I can find it. There you go. So this is like outside the front door of the place. Um, and you can tell from like the the English writing over the door that they, they kind of like targeted tourists a little bit, but it was still nice. It was still nice and I did enjoy it. Um, and we had a lovely stay there. Anyway, thank you for showing those. It's, it's fine, it's absolutely fine. Uh, I haven't looked at these photos for a while, so uh, it's nice for me as well. I'm just disappointed that I don't have a single, like, nice photo of the doorway to the building. That's weird. Uh, but I literally just did a search in my Google Photos for Kyoto, and those are the photos that came up. So we might have some more somewhere. Um, but yeah, I'll leave it at that for now. We'll get back to a little bit of Duolingo. So yes, Kyoto, a lovely place to visit. Really nice. What's next? I live in Tokyo. So Tokyo, is that right? Ni sunde imas. Did I write that wrong? Oh no, I think it's Tokyo. Tokyo. Ni sunde imas. I think that's right. Tokyo ni sunde imas. I live in Tokyo. Um, Hong Kong ni sundeimas. I live in Hong Kong. Tokyo ni sundeimasen? Maybe? 
東京に住んでいます。香港に住んでいます。Uh, 東京 is this one. 東京 There we go.、Uh, for the first character means east. This one has west in front of it. I don't know if there is a west. Kyo. Saikyo. Is there a Saikyo? I don't know. Is there an east capital? There is a. Tokyo. Tokyo.、Uh, this one down here, the south capital would be Nanjing in China. Nanking. Also known as Nanking. And then the last one would be. Uh, is that Kyoto? Kyoto? But that is not the correct writing for the city, Kyoto. Okay? Tokyo. Tokyo. This one. There we go.、はい、Tokyo. Kyoto ni sundeimas. Yes, I live in. Did she say Tokyo? Hi,、はい、Kyoto ni sundeimas. Kyoto. Yes. I live. I love. I live in Kyoto. はい、京都に住んでいます。いや、京都に住んでいません。香港に住んでいます。I live in Kyoto。きよう、と、う。京都に住んでいます。Is that right? 京都に住んでいます。I live in Kyoto. Would that be nice though?、Uh, Kyoto is so. Well, was, was, past tense, was kind of full of tourists.、Um, it was a very touristy place. And I wonder, like, what do the locals think of that? Like, what, what do you think if your hometown is full of tourists? Like, it brings business. But, like, how much is too much? I say that knowing that we were probably part of the problem. I live in Tokyo. Hold on. Now remember, Tokyo ni, ni is, is a particle to talk about the place. So, Tokyo ni is like in Tokyo. To live somewhere. Sun, sundeimas. Sumi, to live. So, Tokyo ni sundeimas. I live. In Tokyo. We got this. Tokyo ni sundeimas. I do not live in Tokyo. Now, this is the one that we haven't tried as a question so far, I don't think. But let's see if we were right when we said Tokyo. It? To -u. Oh, I wrote Tokyo. Tokyo ni. Sunde imasem. Gi ma. Is that going to be right? Tokyo ni sunde imasen. Okay, it's right. Tokyo ni sunde imasen. I do not live in Tokyo. Ah,、uh, Hong Kong ni sunde imas. Kyoto ni sunde imas. Yeah, I live in Kyoto. Are we just learning two cities today? Oh, we should do some drops. I wonder if drops has any cities. We haven't done any drops today. Tokyo ni sunde imasen. What we will do is because it is approaching 3 pm, I will be going out in a little bit. I will finish this unit. We're not going to do counting today. And I'll see if there are any kind of like related topics in drops that we could quickly do with our five minutes over there. Hi. Uh, Kyoto ni sundeimas. Kyoto ni sundeimas. Hai. Kyoto ni sundeimas. Yes, I live in Tokyo. Iie, Tokyo ni wa sundeimasen. No, I don't live in. Did you say Tokyo or Kyoto? Let's listen. いいえ、東京には住んでいません。東京。Okay, no. I don't live in Tokyo. When we went to Tokyo last time, it was so hot. I'm from Tokyo. 
、uh, Tokyo 出身です。出身です。Right?、Uh, Tokyo 出身です。です。東京出身です。I'm from Tokyo。イギリス出身です。東京に住んでいません。I don't live in Tokyo。Oh, so you could say, 東京出身です。では、でも、では、でも。Which one is but? One of those is but. But. How do you say but in Japanese? でも、oh, okay. So I could say, Tokyo 出身です。でも、Tokyo、Tokyo は、Tokyo に住んでいません。Maybe? Tokyo に住んでいます。Would you say, Tokyo に住んでいます。Tokyo に住んでいません。I don't live In Tokyo. Tokyo ni s u n d e i m a s e Okay, let's get through this. No, I do not live in Tokyo. Iye. Tokyo ni s u n d e i m a s e We got this. Boom. We can fly through this. Iye. Tokyo ni s u n d e i m a s e No, I do not live in Tokyo. No, I don't live in Kyoto this time. No, I don't live in the same cities again and again. Nearly done. Iye, Kyoto. Iye. Kyo. So you get through this and you know Kyoto and Tokyo. Kyoto. Kyoto ni sunde i m a s e Iye, Kyoto ni sunde i m a s e Which one was Sumi? This one. Sumi. <laughs> And we are done. Now. Let us have a quick look here. So, we are not going to do the next level of that. As you can see, what I'm trying to do, we're starting with the、uh, full purple crowns at the top, and I am working my way down. I would like every unit to be better than the one following it. That's the plan. And it seems to be going quite well. Now, before we finish, oh, I'm crying again. Again, this is allergies. I'm not upset that our stream, well, I'm not that upset that the stream is coming to an end. Let's have a quick look in drops, shall we? And see if there's anything related that we can do with our last five minutes of drops.、Um, Talis says, Oh, Talis is on. Hey, hi, how are you doing, Talis? It's nice to see you today. I've never lived in Kyoto, but locals often say summer is terribly hot and humid, and winter is cold. Isn't a lot of Japan terribly hot and humid in the summer?、Uh, we went to. Oh, goodness. Did we go in the summer or the winter to Kyoto and Osaka? I can't remember. I really can't. Hold on a second.、Uh, but we've been to. Let's just have a quick look here.、Uh, let me just check my photos to see what month it was. We went to Osaka in the summer. We went there in the summer, I think. Let me have a look. Economy class. What's the date? Kansai International Airport, June. We went in June、um, to Osaka and it wasn't terrible. It wasn't like really hot.、Um, we had much, like, it, it was much worse in Tokyo. We, when we went to Tokyo, we went there in July a few years back, and it was so hot. It was really hot.、Um, and we've been to Tokyo in the winter as well.、Uh, I don't know. 
I, I feel like the nicest summer weather we had in Japan was when we went to、uh, Karuizawa. In Karuizawa, the, the weather was lovely. I think because it's like in the highlands and it's a little bit cooler in the summer, and it was, it was really nice.、Uh, but Tokyo in the middle of the summer was a little bit too hot. A little bit too hot. Okay, then, what are we doing here? Travel talk? That sounds related. Ego Hanasemaska? Ego. Oh, Ego Hanasemaska? Shouldn't be Ego Ka Hanasemaska? Ego Hanasemaska? Do you speak English? Ego Hanasemaska? Ego Oh Hanasemaska? This one. It's not rock climbing. Arigato gozaimas. Thank you so much. Arigato gozaimas. There's some good phrases here. Arigato gozaimas. Arigato gozaimas. The different voices are confusing here. Ego o hanasemaska. Ego hanasemaska. Ego hanasemaska. Arigato gozaimas. That guy looks, he looks grateful. Oh, please. Why does it look like that person is like slapping them or like clapping right in their face? Please. Oh, Ego. Why is this in Hiragana? Ego o hana semas ka? Ego hana semas ka? Oh, you thought they were whispering. I don't know what's going on there.、Uh, arigato gozaimasu. That must mean thank you. Next time you want to say thank you, do it like this, okay? Arigato gozaimasu. Who did these pictures? Arigato gozaimasu. Thank you. Arigato gozaimasu. Gomen nasai. Gomen nasai. This guy's i saying, Whoa. No, no, no. Nothing to do with me. No, here, this is supposed to be. Gomen nasai. It's supposed to be sorry. I don't understand this body language. Gomen nasai. Sorry? Gomen nasai. Sorry? Sorry. Gomen. Gomen. Gomen nasai. Oh,、uh, Tari says that you're right, but Kyoto is in a basin and it makes things worse. Thank you so much. Arigato gozaimasu. Gomen nasai. Gomen nasai. What is wrong with these pictures? I normally love the pictures. Oh, konnichiwa. Hello or good afternoon. Konnichiwa. 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 Konnichiwa.、Uh, onegai shimasu. Is please. One of these is. Oh,、uh, clapping in the guy's face. Please. Arigato gozaimasu. Arigato gozaimasu. Oh, this is so weird. Uh, gomenasai. Mai. Uh, eigo ka hanasemasu ka? Eigo o. Eigo hanasemasu ka? しまっている。Oh, okay, it's closed. しまっている。しまっている。Say that again. Say it again. しまっている。しまっている。Closed. しまっている。しまっている。There's a lot of new words here today.、Uh, こんにちは。Hello. Good afternoon. Konnichiwa. Shimatteru, is that right? Shimatteru. Shimatteru. Ego hanasemaska? Ego hanasemaska. Ego hanasemaska? Can you speak English? Arigato gozaimas. Arigato gozaimas. Two hands. Aiteru. Aiteru. Open. Aiteru. Aiteru. Open. Aiteru. Aiteru. Open. Aiteru. Aiteru. Komenasai. 
<laughs> Sorry, no, this one should be Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Komen. Komen nasai. Komen nasai. Komen nasai. Uh, this one is slapping someone in the face. Uh, what was it? Onegai shimasu. Onegai shimasu. Onegai shimasu. This one is Arigato gozaimasu. Arigato gozaimasu. Ai. Ai teru. Ai teru. Ai teru. Last one. Hai. 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 And we're done with drops because drops will only let us study for five minutes every 10 hours. But look, there's a surprise offer. What's inside here? Unlimited time. Practice as many sessions as you want. <laughs> for 313 Hong Kong dollars per year. Recurring billing. How much is that in New Zealand dollars? That's a lot. Hold on a second. <laughs> Currency converter. <laughs> okay, then. This is... Let me just do a very quick search. What do you think, Mrs. Supermars? Would you pay... Let me just check. 57 New Zealand dollars to use this app for a year. 57 New Zealand dollars per year. I don't know. Alice, what do you think? In Japanese yen? What is this in Japanese yen? Would you pay 4,432 Japanese yen to have unlimited access to drops for a year? I don't know how I feel about it. Like, I don't know. I feel like that's how they get you. What what I'm doing now, Miss Supernova says it's not bad. You know what? Like in a sense, it kind of isn't. Oh, uh, do I live in China now? Hey, Fire One Two Three, how are you doing? Um, I live in Hong Kong. I live in Hong Kong. Ima Hong Kong ni sundeimasu. I'm from the UK, um, but I do live in Hong Kong. But yeah, I'm not sure whether I'm going to unlock this. Unlimited time, recurring billing. Now, they have a lifetime membership here for 1600 Hong Kong dollars. I won't be paying that. Um, but what I was thinking was, I'm just going to see kind of like how essential drops becomes to my study. And what I've been doing recently is I'm still studying with Duolingo as my main kind of like study uh, app. And then if there are any topics that I feel unfamiliar with, I've been jumping into Duolingo and studying these there. So you can see that I've been studying like food, bacon, ham, all the foods. Uh, we've got other things as well. We've got animal sounds. I've been meaning to do animal sounds live on stream. Um, clothes. And I basically, <clears throat> excuse me, I've been because Duolingo is quite good for sentences, but they don't give you a lot of words. Um, so like, if you look down here, if you study like the restaurant section in here, it's more about sentences that you could use at a restaurant rather than restaurant vocabulary. So I think it's a good idea to have an app like Drops on the side that you can jump to, to like improve your vocabulary at the same time. And that's what I've been doing with it. I've been using it semi-regularly, I guess. Let me just see here. Is there... There you go. So I don't use drops every day, but I've been using it a fair bit since I've got it. I think, like, if later on, if I find that drops is getting more essential uh, to me, I might get a year. Tyler says, I could pay for a lifetime, but it sounds to be a bit expensive for a year. Yeah, uh, but here's the thing. The lifetime membership, Tyler, if you look here, is 1,600 Hong Kong dollars. Uh, for that price, I could get a Nintendo Switch Lite and play Splatoon with myself. 
right? Um, it's like that's getting a little bit expensive. 1,600 Hong Kong dollars, 1,658. That is 23,000 Japanese yen. Ima san sen yon yaku. It's a lot. It's a lot. So I don't know. Oh, 5123, sorry, I missed your, I missed your comment. Um, no, I'm not being rude. I'm not being rude. I just missed it. Uh, yeah, so I said, yes, I do live in China. Property prices are high in Hong Kong. Why did I choose to live there? Um, I don't know. I, I, the first time I came to Hong Kong, so I, I was interested in moving to Hong Kong. I've, I've lived here for years now. And when I when I was growing up, I had seen like Hong Kong movies and things like that. And I think that that was probably what triggered me thinking about Hong Kong rather than thinking about other places. Um, who knows? If I'd grown up watching Japanese movies, maybe I'd be living in Japan right now. Uh, but I grew up watching Hong Kong movies. And uh, yeah, I ended up here. So, uh, but yeah, I've been living here for a few years now. But no, I wasn't deliberately ignoring anyone. Uh, Fire one, two, three. So yeah, I'm still in two minds about whether or not I'm going to uh, whether I'm going to pay for drops, just because it does seem slightly expensive. Slightly expensive. Um, we will see. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how much usage I do get out of this. But anyway, thank you so much for dropping by Fire123, Talis Zero, Mrs. Mers, and anyone else who is lurking here. I am going to be jumping out in just a second. I do need, I do have some, uh, some things to be doing this afternoon. But thank you for joining me on my language learning live stream. As always, we stream this every Monday afternoon on twitch.tv slash Anthony Kelly Yip. So if you would like to come here and study some Duolingo with me, study some drops with me, or just hang around and chat, then feel free to drop by on Monday. Remember, if you can't watch live, it's fine. I'll be uploading this to youtube.com slash Anthony Kelly Yip as well. Oh, hold on a second. <laughs> Thank you, Cool Ethan. Cool Ethan 69, Redeem, tell us about our charity. I will do Cool Ethan 29. And uh, that's up here. That's up here, our ALS charity. Give me just a second to change the screen. And uh, where are you? Is this gonna load? Is this gonna load? Okay, guys. Uh, cool Ethan wants to know about our charity. We have been trying to raise money for the ALS Association. Uh, in case you don't know, ALS is a neurodegenerative disorder um, that has a huge impact, a huge, uh, a hugely challenging impact on the lives of the people who are living with it and on their families and their caregivers as well. And there is no cure for this disease. If you want to know more about ALS, please, like, you don't need to come to me for information about this. Go to the ALS Association website uh, or do a search on YouTube for, you know, the for ALS. And you will see kind of like how debilitating and how difficult this disease can be. Um, the ALS Association do a lot of work like trying to support people who are living with the disease. And they are also doing work trying to raise money for research into hopefully finding a cure um, because at the end of the day like if there were a cure for the disease that would be that would be wonderful so they are looking into trying to find a cure they are looking into uh, finding new treatments for the disease and the ALS Association are also doing a lot of work helping people who are you know living with this right now and I think that it's a really worthwhile charity um, if anybody would like to donate to the ALS Association there is a QR code right there I'm also going to type in exclamation mark charity into the chat there is a link here to my page uh, for raising money for the ALS Association any money that goes from there gets paypal directly to the ALS Association it doesn't go through me um, Streamlabs do not take a cut from that either all the money goes directly to the ALS Association unless paypal takes a cut 
I don't know whether PayPal takes a cut. But anyway, we've been doing well so far. So far, we have raised a grand total of 1,600 Hong Kong dollars. A little bit of that is me, but a lot of that has been, you know, you guys, people watching this stream. Most of it has been you guys. And uh, yeah, we have a great little community here. And I'm so happy that uh, we've been able to raise some money for this really worthwhile cause. Thank you so much, Ethan, for redeeming that. And uh, yeah, I'm about to finish up. Thank you for listening to that just for a second. Okay, guys, we're about to finish up here. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Miss Muzz, Mrs. Muzz, for dropping by. Thank you again to Expert Links for dropping those bits at the beginning of the stream. They had to get back to work, but uh, I do appreciate it all the same. And thank you to Ethan for redeeming. Tell us about our charity. Hopefully we can raise a little bit of more money uh, before the end of the month. $2,500. That's the target. That's the target. Anyway, I will see you again. Thank you so much for dropping by again, Miss Muzz. And uh, see you next time. Oh, Pokemon Go streams later in the week. I'm not sure whether I'll be able to do a, a Spotlight Hour stream tomorrow. I'm going to try. It's a little bit close to the end of the workday. Uh, but then on Wednesday, we will be hopefully doing an IRL Raid Hour stream. And then we'll be back for Eevee Community Day. Shall we do an Eevee stream? Thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. If not, I'll be back next Monday with another Japanese language learning live stream. Thanks for dropping by, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.